In this video, we're going to take you through some basic maintenance for the R5 SL, including changing the three-point chin strap, changing the headband, making a height adjustment, and fitting the universal downsize kit. If you're only interested in one of these processes, check the description box below for timestamps and jump ahead. Before we get started, you will need a piece of foam or soft surface to work on, a Phillips head screwdriver, and if you're replacing the chin strap, we always recommend that you also replace the rivets. The R5 SL comes standard with a three-point chin strap. To remove the chin strap, start by removing the neck protector and place it aside. Unbuckle the quick release clip. Locate and undo the nape strap adjuster. Thread the chin strap through the back loop. Pop the rivets out of each side. Your chin strap should now be in two pieces. When fitting a chin strap, we recommend replacing the rivets to maintain the best hold. You will notice the eyelets on the chin strap are silver on one side and gold on the other. You want to place the gold side against the shell of the helmet so the smoothest silver side faces inward. Attach the longer strap to the left hand side of the helmet using a 7mm rivet. Thread the tail of the strap through the loop at the back, ensuring the nape strap is sitting inside the headband. Attach the shorter strap to the right hand side of the helmet using a 7mm rivet. Thread the long tail from the left hand strap through the nape adjuster as shown. Don't forget to replace the neck protector. If you need to change out the back loop of the chin strap, undo the screw at the rear of the helmet on the outside of the shell. The internal loop should come loose. To replace the loop, Place it against the shell of the helmet with the gold side of the eyelet facing towards the shell and the tail pointing down. Hold the chin strap loop in place and then turn the helmet over. Fit the goggle retention strap with the press stud facing away from the shell, then replace the screw and tighten. When removing the headband, start by undoing the chin strap and removing the neck protector. There are six suspension points which fasten the headband to the helmet. Identify where each of the suspension points is. Hold the first suspension point and push up firmly until you hear it unclip from the dome piece fastener. Repeat this process for the remaining five suspension points. You can now remove the headband from the helmet. 
Now the headband is removed, you can adjust the wearing height. Identify the height adjustment points, two at the front and two at the rear of the headband. Unclip the first adjustment point on the headband and move it to the second position. Fasten the adjustment point to the headband, ensuring a secure fit. Repeat the process for the remaining three adjustment points. The merino wool sweatbands can be removed for cleaning or replacement. The rear sweatband is fastened with hook and loop. The front sweatband is held in place with small hooks. Gently unhook the sweatband from the headband. Let's replace the front sweatband first. Thread each hook through the corresponding hole in the merino sweatband. Take your time during this process, the hooks are quite small and easy to miss. The cutout on the rear sweatband goes around the ratchet adjuster. Position the headband on the sweatband and do up the hook and loop. The ratchet adjuster should be easily accessible and spin freely. Make sure the sweatbands are fitted firmly and the black side is facing out. A downsize kit is available for head circumferences smaller than 52 centimeters. The downsize kit is made up of two foam pieces, one for the front of the headband and one for the back. Fit the blue front piece first. It sits inside the plastic headband as shown. Replace the merino sweatband over the top. If the helmet still feels too big, fit the grey piece of foam to the back of the headband on the inside. It's held in place by double-sided tape. Refit the merino sweatband over the top. It's time to put the headband back into your R5. If you remove the ribbons to get easier access to the sweatbands, refit the ribbons before putting the headband back into your helmet. There are two ribbons that have adjustment points and dome clips, and one ribbon that just has the dome clips. We want to work with the two ribbons that have the adjustment points and the dome clips. Starting at the rear, clip the height adjuster into the desired position, ensuring that the dome clip is facing the back of the headband. Repeat the process with the other strap. Position the headband inside the shell of the helmet with the ratchet adjuster towards the rear. Identify the six dome piece fasteners where the headband fastens to the helmet. Clip the headband back on by threading the dome piece through the larger bottom hole and pushing it down until you can hear it clip into place. When you get to the centre suspension points, thread the remaining ribbon through the hole in the headband and clip onto the centre dome. Pass the ribbon under the two already fitted to the headband and through the hole in the headband, clipping onto the centre dome on the other side of the shell. Locate the nape adjustment strap, then feed it through the fabric loop at the rear of the helmet, ensuring it's not twisted and that it's sitting inside the headband. Feed the end of the nape strap through the adjustment point. Make sure it's secure, then adjust as necessary. Tighten the ratchet adjuster on the headband. Replace the neck protector using the hook and loop strips. 
Thanks for running through some basic maintenance on your R5 helmet. A comprehensive range of replacement parts for Pacific helmets is available from Packfire. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to our channel for more content.